Tonight, a tribute to the unsinkable human spirit. 20 amazing daredevils undeterred by obstacles. Neither soaring heights nor the depths of the sea. I would bite his ass too. I don't know you. Can stop these brave thrill seekers. Featuring audacious questions from our celebrity cast. What's with the freaky man on animal action in the show? <laughs> it's True TV presents the world's dumbest daredevil. And it begins now. Look at hot school. Long Island, New York. Ready? Yeah. Joe and his pals gather in the woods to do some zip lining. Oh. 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 oh, that was <laughs> Long Island represent! Yeah! Yeah, tighten it up, Joey. Make it tighter. You know what? That wasn't fast enough. Let me tighten the line. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe of the jungle, watch out for that tree! In just one swing from tree to tree, this guy went from Tarzan to Jane. Take your balls out of your stomach. Oh, it's my ankle. I managed to stop myself from hitting my balls. No, you hit your balls. <laughs> it's my ankle. I managed to stop myself from hitting my balls. Oh, really? He hit his balls so bad, I think they're in his ankles. That's why his ankles hurt. Can we see a replay? <laughs> Ooh, that was all nuts. <laughs> Catch your breath, Chuck. Yeah, I'll call you right back. We're looking for Joe's nuts. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. So sit I down. Yep. Joe, you gotta sit down. <laughs> Did someone actually show some human empathy? Oh my gosh, bro. That kinda, was amazing. That again. <laughs> oh, no, I stand corrected. <laughs> hey, Long Island. Enough. Enough. An aspiring motorcycle stunt rider practices backflips on his homemade ramp. All right. This homemade evil Knievel needs some more training. Um, at least the bike stuck the landing. You gotta really flick the head, you know? It's like flicking the hair if you're a girl. You gotta really flick it. <sighs> That's okay, do it again. Don't give up. We stop. You okay, big guy? Get the bike off me. But keep the camera rolling. Oh, that hurt. You need anything? No. Cigarette? Wanna smoke a cigarette? Dude? Bro? I don't know how to deal with situations. Okay, dude? After a few minutes of pain, the biker gets back on his feet. You wanna see it? Yeah. Did you get the bike falling on his head? Oh. <laughs> These kids are sadistic. You know, you almost broke your neck. Let's slow it down in super slow motion. Well, you wouldn't be seeing this clip on our show. You'd have to go to the internet. <laughs> At a zoo in China, a three-year-old girl named Zhang attempts a 400-foot tightrope walk above six Siberian tigers. What the f
is going on here? Why don't you dip the kid in soy sauce while you're at it? The girl is part of a troupe of elite acrobats led by her father. <laughs> the Chinese head start program is ridiculous. <laughs> I know you're only allowed to have one kid in China, but this is a pretty harsh way to get rid of the girl. Zhang resets and attempts the walk again. <laughs> Poor things, all hungry, and you're just dangling something that scrumptious just above their noses. Shame on you! Hey, buddy, oh, we're eating Chinese tonight. Calm down. Zhang finally calls it quits for the day. I enjoy it because I started from a very young age. I started when I was young. Now I am old, almost four. Hand me a lucky, will you? She walked almost 60 meters yesterday when we did the training. She didn't do so well today. You know what you didn't do so well at today? Parenting. <laughs> this for me so I can talk to the Chinese people. Stop doing this to your children. Konnichiwa. Coming up, staying the course. A tour de force. I'm gonna give him a 9.5. He nailed it. And a daredevil who thinks he's a... Uh... I'm the horse! I'm the horse! Plus between Daredevil and the Deep Blue Sea. Mm. Ah, this was beautiful. I love to see nature strike back. Ah. When World's Dumbest Daredevils continues. Meet Money Mike and the horse. Daredevils from the We Play Crazy stunt crew. What up? What up? What up? When I grew up, we used to listen to Money Mike and the Horse in the Morning. And now they're reduced to this. Damn you, satellite radio. Today, they're attempting to flip off a 20-foot-tall haystack. Pretty sick, dude. What say? Yeah. Yo, I flip mad haystacks. I flip off tractors. I'm gonna f*** E-I-E-I-O. Ah! Ah! Yo. I'm the by the size of your it probably looks like you're not. Yo, I'm the What happened? Head? Right foot. Right? Can you move it? Like, can you wiggle it? Have you done the wiggle it test yet? I'm sorry, doctor. Have you any kind of credentials on you? Forget about this kid and his foot. Can we talk about what kind of super mutated horses need 20-foot high bales of hay? Like, can you wiggle it? I broke it, yo. Yo, get me out of here, yo. Oh, uh, hurry up. Gotta save his life. Oh. Put him in. My little boy! Put him my in. little boy! It's my little boy and I'm a horse! <laughs> Carry him in or... Yeah, just carry him right in there. I mean, carrying his little boy into the hospital, I mean, that's heartwarming stuff. We got three broken toes. So he's gonna be out of action. At least the horse didn't hurt his foot. Ah! These guys wouldn't have the balls to take him out behind the hay bales and put him down. I'm the horse! Tell us what you're gonna do. Go down face first. It's gonna go down face first? That's dedication. All right, ready when you are. Oh yeah, tubing. You guys are hardcore. Uh, great. Uh, 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 there you go. Uh, 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 uh. 
Stewart as a representative of the fat people, we know that tubes have a weight limit. Uh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> that thing popped like a zit, didn't it? <laughs> All right, Stuart, going for round two. Warming his hands up. Expecting big things, of course. Is it cool to laugh? I mean, he looks like he's laughing. <laughs> on the outside. But on the inside, he's... He's a sad clown. <laughs> it's just guaranteed <laughs> If it weren't for popped rubber tubes, Bonaduce wouldn't have any kids! Dave, I'm going to be feeding the critters for you guys today. Scuba guide Dave Marcel gives a group of divers some last-minute instructions. You pick up the nurse shark and you set it in your arms. Once I set it in your arms, you go ahead and pet it and have a good time. All right, guys, we're going to go down to a deadly animal's habitat and essentially molest them. Bring your cameras. <laughs> like a weird orgy. Uh, dude, no means no, especially when it's a shark. I will bite his ass, too. I don't know you. You don't kiss a fish. I mean, I kiss my catfish, but it can't, like, and bite you. This was beautiful. I love to see nature strike back. <laughs> Dave is rushed to the nearest hospital, where a cosmetic surgeon reconstructs his kisser. I was kissing a nurse shark. I was wondering if you could sew that back on for me. Two years later, he returns to the job he loves. Doing the dive today is just absolutely phenomenal. The big difference is I kept my mouth away from theirs. He's a shark kisser. Now he looks like this. Cause he's a shark kisser. Alex Broskow is a professional inline stunt skater. Today, he's practicing one of his signature moves, the backside fast slide. thought sliding on a rail above concrete would end like that. Oh, my God. Yeah, probably everybody. Oh, my God. Well, he didn't pull off a backslide fast slide, but he did pull off a fast slide onto his backside. Oh, my God. And all I wait for is that blood curdling that just f***ed up my body and I got no insurance. Scream. Dude, rollerblading is so hardcore, man. It's nothing but gangsters. I've been trying to tell people this for years when I'm on the promenade. Damn, you right, baby? Can you call me baby? How about I bite you with my new fang? You have to admire the concern of my boy's special friend. Fake ass bitch. <laughs> Fake ass too. I'm so cool. I'm just a badass. I don't even need all my teeth. Alex decides against going to the dentist and keeps his chipped tooth as a reminder of his stunt. Kansas City, mother. Is that Kansas City, Missouri, 
or Kansas City, Kansas that you want to make the mother reference to? Kansas City, mother Kansas City, mother We know how to lose teeth when we don't do tricks appropriately. Yeah! Oh, my God! Coming up, <laughs> dumb on a lake. No! <laughs> <laughs> Dumb with a snake. <laughs> Haven't you learned? Means. And dumb with no brakes. Even if you guys were doing this right, it would be stupid. Plus, see you later, Gator. Another genius. When World's Dumbest Daredevils continues. At a bachelor party on a lake in Ontario, Scott entertains his fellow groomsmen by showing off on a jet ski. I guess I'm old fashioned. Whatever happened to titties in the face? Oh my god. Check it out. Check it out. What are you doing? Andrew 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 Here we go. Oh, this is not going to end well. All right. Take it. Oh, Oh, jeez. Down and you go wham! Woo! Yeah. Nice job. How about you do the gymnastics at the gym and you do the jet ski in the water? Oh you okay, Scott? So he's all right. Okay. Scott, give us the thumbs up here. <laughs> so you can. Oh. Hey, you look at your feet. Look you. at your freaking face. <laughs> You're never gonna look the same again! I'm gonna read you. No, man, that was amazing. No, no, you're my hero! <laughs> oh, glad everyone was impressed. Mission accomplished. Don't get any blood on the boat! Don't get blood on rental, that's extra! Is there any teeth marks in the rear deck? <laughs> Seriously, are there? I'm getting married in like a week. I can't afford to have any bite marks buffed out, Scott. Now, why is that that your nose and lip hurt? So I'm an idiot, and I was trying to show off to all my buddies. And what did you try to do? I tried to backflip off a moving sea dew. Scott tried the same move off the back of a stripper that night. You don't want to know where he hit his face. All right, take it. Oh, A car rally in eastern Russia attracts top drivers, journalists, and spectators. Rally car racing! Do, do. It's always important during a race like this to have as many spectators as close to the road as possible. It seems like the Russians do the dumbest. I mean, just. This stupid after the race one of the competitors allows a reporter to drive his car around the course this just in the dashboard into my forehead how this trees taste buddy <laughs> And that tree, and that tree, and that tree, and a bush. Yeah, you bet you bought it, sir. This is where that TV anchor training of smiling no matter what's going on really comes in handy. And that's the news. Bye. I didn't think we were going to have a up Russia clip on this show, but you guys came through. Russia. Jeffrey the Swamp Master Quattrochi takes on an 8-foot, 200-pound alligator. I love that his title is Swamp Master. Does he put that on his tax forms? This is how I have fun. 
go ahead and try and catch you, man. It's good to see Garth Brooks performing again. I missed him. Yeah, he's guarding his tail. There's nothing I enjoy more than watching a man with rolled up sleeves and big, shiny, shaved arms tease an alligator. All right, we're going to try and get him out of this corner, man. Here we go. We've got to get the, ang the anger up in the alligator because he's cold blood. <laughs> novice would have been more appropriate. If you mess with the bite, you're gonna get bit. What was your first clue? Screams of pain or the fact that it just wasn't listed in the program? That's the alligator. That's probably exactly what was supposed to happen. The Swamp Master is rushed to the nearest hospital, where he receives 34 staples and 24 stitches. Every show is a potential career ender, but today it's thank you, and that stands for thank you for not tearing my arm off. Come on back and see the Swamp Master anytime you want your children traumatized. You hear? April 13th, 1980, Melbourne, Australia. American Gary Wells and Australian Johnny Fogwell go head to head in a tense motorcycle jump off. USA! USA! USA in your face! Come on, Aussies! Woo! We got this! The American Wells is up first. <laughs> And successfully jumps 140 feet. USA! Boring! How much did we pay for these tickets? Fogwell tries to outdo him by attempting a 150 foot jump. That's not a jump! I'm not with the Australian team. I'm with the American team. Yeah, go the Americans. Nice try, Aussies. But remember, we put a man on the moon, so there's no way we're losing to a bunch of dingo-humping ex-cons. It's still one hell of a jump. What do you think was the biggest problem? I'm guessing the crash, probably. You were just going too fast. I nearly broke my damn back. <laughs> oh, Johnny. Well, at least he didn't break his sense of humor. Gary Wells is declared the winner yeah! and pockets a $150,000 prize. Rock and roll! Fogwell escapes major injury yeah! and wins a $15,000 consolation prize. $15,000 for that. Well, hook me up. I can do it wrong, too. I just stayed on the bike except for that wall. That's what blew me. Johnny Fogwell, I will come and beat you. As far as you can jump a motorcycle, I'm gonna jump it further. Let's do it. Coming up, Daredevil graduation. Oh yeah! And there he is, folks, the valedictorian. And soaring to new highs. And new lows. Woman jumpers. When World's Dumbest Daredevils continues. All right, Mike and Garrett here, all right? Look at this. Right here. We're going down those stairs right there. In, you want to see what's going to happen before we even do it? All right, here you go. Test round of success. We're ready to go. Ah! Yeah! At least they're using helmets. We wouldn't want to lose these guys. They are precious. Yeah, baby! I wish I was that excited. This is so dumb. This is so... What did you say? This is so dumb. Just do it! Oh, no. It's not just dumb. It's the dumbest. Oh, my God! Jesus, I thought we were both... Just do it! Let's do it, baby! Let's do it! Ah! Oh, 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 oh. 
I think I have a pine cone. It's not in a good place. Freak! Oh, dang! Ah, oh, poopy cocks! You just bashed your face in. You deserve a little. Mike, what were you thinking? Dude, I wasn't thinking. Mike, thinking. No. The boys head off in search of medical care. It's close. It's close. Oh, no. Mike finally gets some face time with a doctor and receives nine stitches. How do you feel, Mike? Yeah, I'm all right. He got the Franken stitches, too. Looked like he used shoelaces. Oh, my gosh! Let's do it! Wow, shopping cart. Steps. Snow. Who knew putting them all together would be that much fun? Base jumpers from around the world jump off Russia's Austin Kino TV Tower. At 1,770 feet, it's Europe's tallest freestanding structure. Two things surprised me about this clip. One, the TV tower is the tallest freestanding structure in all of Europe. And two, Russia has TV. <laughs> Next up, female jumper Christina Grubelnik. Oh, oh, wait a minute. This is not supposed to happen. Ooh. Woman jumpers. Ugh, this is awful ride. Ooh. That thing you initially jumped off of really snuck up on you, huh? She looks so restful hanging there, I almost feel envious. I need a good night's sleep. There is girl stuck up there on TV, Tom. Not your kidding. You want to take the elevator or the stairs? You want to get a ladder? I don't know, I think we got time. She looks okay. <laughs> After half an hour, emergency workers rescue Christina. She makes a full recovery. The base jumping for us guys. And when I say us guys, I mean um, guys besides me. Oh, oh, wait a minute. This is not supposed to happen. Ooh. Now, what made you think that black speedos were less creepy than naked? He's not even really streaky. He still has some clothes on. Wait, wait. Slap it, high school! Now that, that's a streaker right there. Yeah. Woo! Oh, look at me! I'm almost naked! Yeah. Are you gonna streak in public? Please go to a tanning bed the day before. I hereby dub that move the Flying Hawaiian. I guess the security guards at this high school that take this education thing for real. The ceremony continues as the streaker is questioned by security. The young man is identified as a student from a rival academy. I think we've decided which high school wins that battle. Screw you! Whoever didn't give this guy a diploma. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, Brian Schiller's friends watch as he hot dogs on his recently repaired snowmobile. A recently repaired snowmobile? Yeah, you know this ain't gonna be good. Woo! Oh, she's running great! She's running great! Yeah. Come on, pull it over. That's the tree. 
for picking on the tiniest tree in the forest. game for people too dumb to work at the carnival and later the great escape are the handcuffs necessary he's going to be in a coffin under seven tons of dirt <laughs> when world's dumbest daredevils continues <laughs> friends in north carolina have a plan to get some dramatic action photos <laughs> I'm gonna make you huge. You're gonna be big. All right, here I go. I'm gonna give him a 9.5. He nailed it. Where is his mama? Quit jumping off that roof. called Photoshop now. You can make your bike look like it's jumping out of a volcano if you want. You don't have to really do it. Oh, God, his arm looks like the ACDC lightning bolt. Where's your hand? Flip it over. Turn it over. Let go of it with your hand. Stop asking him to pose. Take him to the hospital. The reckless biker finally gets his dramatic action photos of a broken forearm. I've only seen this move work successfully once, and that's because the guy had a little alien in his basket. In England, Matthew and his friend face off against each other in their favorite winter sport. The goal is to smash holes in the ice until someone falls through. Who shall stand on a frozen field? Not more than a horse pot. First one through the ice wins or loses. I don't know. more daring if they were at the center of the pond <laughs> use some muscles all right <laughs> this is like a carnival game for people too dumb to work at the carnival <laughs> you on any pond frozen unfrozen and you 
will be taking a bath, my friends. This is Garrett. He's just been dared by his friend to kiss a snake. What does it prove? And why do you look so much like Gary Busey? <laughs> What's with the freaky man on animal action in the show? <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> Garrett, you're not going to want to do that. Garrett. Another genius. <laughs> Haven't you learned? Means. I bit somebody's tongue like that one time in 92. I was hungry. Oh, you all right, man? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he got you good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The guy is just way too turned on. Oh, he got you good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I told you I don't like snakes. <laughs> you don't like snakes? Wow. I got an entirely different impression. <laughs> Garrett's friend takes him to the hospital where doctors treat him with antibiotics. Let this be a lesson to you, kids. If anyone asks you to kiss the snake, just say no. <laughs> At a street fair in Lithuania, a basketball player asks for volunteers to help with a slam dunk stunt. I don't care what he's doing, I'd volunteer for it too. Come here, come here, come here. Here we go. Under there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Put your feet together. Feet together. There, there. Okay. Hey, buddy, if you've got four girls willing to do whatever you want, skip the stunt. Uh, are you sure about this? Uh, are you sure about this? Uh, here we go. Uh, okay. You're gonna have a rash. Okay, okay. Put it in this time. Here we go. One, two, three. Yes. Oh. Okay, sorry. I got an offensive foul, we're gonna go this way. Can I jump over you is a terrible pickup line, especially if you can't. Okay, one, two. First of all, that is traveling. Oh. Oh. Second of all, that is teabagging. Oh, no, no. no, no, it's okay, I'm okay, I feel fine. This is going to be a hard injury for her to explain to her mom and dad. Okay, thank you, girl. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night. Does he not think it would be appropriate to apologize to the girl at any point? No wonder you couldn't make it. I really don't think that's the problem here. There's no right size of pant to jump teenage girls with. <laughs> In our country, we arrest our basketball players for doing stuff like that. But they at least have the decency to do it in a hotel room, not on the court. Check me out! Oh, oh, okay. You've watched in agony as 19 dumb daredevils tried and failed. But the dumbest one of all hasn't made their appearance just yet. Find out who it is right after this. Oh, this is not going to end well. Western escape artist Bill Shirk describes himself as a modern-day Houdini. Bill is contacted by a television program that wants him to perform on the anniversary of Houdini's death. The producer of the show called me and said, can you be handcuffed and chained, put in a plexiglass coffin, put in a six-foot grave and have seven tons of dirt and cement poured on you? The answer is no. No, I cannot. Will I do it? Yes. 
How you feeling, Bill? A little nervous. Now that this dirt is now wet, there is a problem, you know, I don't like to, I don't like to preach doom. You know, I don't, I don't like to preach doom. I consider myself a coffin is half full kind of a guy. If I make this, I have a bad feeling about this thing. Hey, did anyone hear me? Said I had a bad feeling about this. Uh, oh boy. Are the handcuffs necessary? He's going to be in a coffin under seven tons of dirt. I think we can uncuff him. Glass coffin suddenly collapses. Oh no! Oh! Oh! That ain't supposed to happen. That ain't supposed to happen. First of all, do you really believe the plexiglass box is gonna hold up dirt and cement? That's just dumb. That ain't supposed to happen. Hey, uh, crew chief, take your time. Take your time. You got a bad back or something? All right, bring it. Bring it back. Uh, let's just see. All right, hang on. Oh, hold on. Oh, they're going ahead. It looks like a horror movie. Oh, All right, oh. there we go. Come on. Here, get him up there. Oh, oh. So, uh, yeah, he just gets buried and then they dig him up. Is that basically it? Shirk is hooked up to an oxygen tank and kept under observation. Hours later, medics on the scene give him a clean bill of health. Let me just say, uh, Bill Shirk, I will be glad to go head to head with you in a buried alive contest. You name the place, I will be there and I will beat you. All right, what do you want to start with? I gotta have two tiny twisters. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, oh. Look at me. I'm a pony. <laughs> <laughs> That's just wrong. Come on, you I am sorry. I am drunk. I should not be drinking vodka before these broadcasts. Dude, if they're drunk or they wouldn't have done it. No, they were kissing or making out. Oh, super hot, but then something happens. All right, go. That's all I have, because it's so stupid. I told you not to wake Judy up when she's napping. Ah! See, she gets all ornery. Keep it.